Hi people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to be doing a ham and cheese omelette or cheese and ham omelette whichever way you want it round it doesn't really matter right in this bowl here um, <laughs> three eggs three eggs I'm gonna sorry eggs I'm gonna break them into this bowl so that all you'll see is three egg and egg yolks and whites now I'm going to crack the eggs as you know as you all know I am terrible at cracking eggs I can never do it No matter how many times I've been shown, I can still not do it. So, now that's three eggs in a bowl. A bit near. You see it? Yeah, there's three anyway. Now I'm going to give them a little bit of beating. Not too much. Hold on, it says add salt. Now I don't need a recipe for this. I just wrote one down just so I was doing it right. So, salt. And pepper. Mix that in, you see I'm mixing it. Why haven't you got your glasses on, Kay? I forgot to put them on. Anyway, that's mixed in. Brilliant. Fantastic. Now I have put the some butter in a pan as it said to. And it said to put it on a medium heat. Well, my medium heat is number three. Wow, that took a lot of turning. Then it said to get some thick slices of ham i've got two thick slices of ham and then it said to get some cheese that's the grater that's not the cheese but the cheese is in the grater so let's get on with cutting the meat up right i've moved the pan you can't see the butter Onto, oh, I'm going to sneeze. Right, sorry about that. Just had a sneezing fit. And I'm going to cut, I've put the pan on that ring. And I'm going to cut this meat up as much as I can. Now, when I've been making omelettes, I've always put the meat in the eggs. Um, apparently that's the wrong way that's how I was shown but anyway that's my, that's never mind that so that's the ham I've cut up all cut up nice and cut up and then oh, everything's escaping meat's escaping right so now apparently it's you have to put well when that's bloody melted let's wait till that melts now the butter has melted and now can you see i'm going to add the mixture all out all out make sure it's all out it's all out yes little bits uh, bits there yes and I'm going to turn it up to full blast which is six on my uh, that's number six isn't it yes on my cooker you can I don't know what side uh, what uh, your cookers go up to but mine goes up to six 
So I'm going to, I've turned it on full blast and I can see the steam coming off it now. But it says not to let it do, which it isn't doing. But it says don't let it do before you put the ham in. So we're just letting it, the middle, looks as though it's doing better than the outside. So we'll give it a few minutes and then, well, starting to form in the middle. So it says to put the ham mainly in the middle. Oh, we've, thrown, we've lost a bit of ham. He's got away, he's escaped, that's not cut up properly. Oh God, I can smell it now, it's absolutely smells gorgeous. And then it says to put the cheese in. Oh, I love cheese, I love cheese. Yes, Kay, you keep saying you love cheese, but I do love cheese. Here we go. Cheesy. You can use any cheese you want. This was just some I had left in the fridge. I've always got some cheese. Well, not always, I haven't. That's my last bit of cheese now. I've got nothing left now. So I'm going to let that cook a bit more. to try it now just to show you that that side is done so I turn the pan round to get the other side done it's not completely done so yes that's that's what I've learned today but yes, that side's done, and once it's done, well, the next should be ready to eat. Right, as you can see, I have turned it over. I know I didn't show you, but cheese went flying all over the show. <laughs> yes, don't get me wrong, I do love cheese. I've always said I love cheese and I've made a secret of it. But it doesn't say in the recipe to turn it over, but I'm trying to... That's it, that's better. Come here. Turn that back over. And all the meat's coming off that one. Yes, you now you're wondering why I cut it in half. I can't eat a full one of them, kill me. Uh, so yeah. So that's, um, as you can see on this one, the cheese is melted. The cheese has come off. <laughs> I'm sure it has, there's a bit on it, but yes, the cheese has melted and that was the main thing that wanted happening, was the cheese to melt. So I'm going to give it a little longer to cook and then I'm going to transfer some of it onto a plate. Right, it's had a little time to cook, let's have a look, see if it's, um, what colour it, oh yes it's done, that is perfectly done. So now I'm going to transfer it onto a plate, which is there. So, pick a little bit up. I need to cut it in a quarter, not in half. Quarter, right, pick a quarter of it up. Come here. And put it onto a plate. And that is, as you can see in the pan, that is your end product. Now you can see it in all its full glory. So I am going to cut some off because it's ham and cheese. Get some ham and cheese together with the boiling, that's going to burn me. Mmm. 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 
that is absolutely gorgeous right Kay said it was gorgeous so I take her word for it but then again if it's melted cheese she loves it anyway so there's going to be a link in the description to my merchandise if you like what you see please keep viewing me if you want to give me a thumbs up please do if <laughs> if you want to leave a recipe any comment please feel free the more the merrier and if you haven't subscribed or you know someone who hasn't subscribed get them subscribing get yourself subscribing get everybody subscribing thank you bye